welcome back now. We're throwing ourselves a start of summer June holiday barbecue today. Charlo, the chef is back with us and we're starting with the most important part, the barbecue prep. Good morning, chef. Good morning. Thanks very much. Very important <coughs> part of your barbecue is you want to deliver the really great product at the end, but it's at the start, at the very start. Get your principles right and get a few little simple things right and then you're on, on to a winner. And you know what, Charlo, I think I'm speaking for everyone in the country here when I say the sun comes out and we scramble to the butchers and then we realise actually haven't done a lot of prep here in terms of the barbecue, yeah. cleaning it, getting stuff ready. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's all the lid and gone, yeah. oh yeah, I need to clean that. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I think if you put in the time, you get it back and reap some rewards, mm. and especially if you've, you know, now that we can open up our gardens to six or seven people, we can actually, you know, get this exactly. the wow factor we're looking for. But you want to bring it up to the next level, okay? So you're bringing this yeah. to the next level with exactly. beer can chicken and ribs. So what are yeah. you putting together there? So beer can, the beer can chicken and the ribs are sort of influenced by my trip to Graceland's in Memphis, Tennessee, a few years ago. I'm a big fan of Elvis Presley. Went to eat in one of his favourite restaurants. Much. Yeah, and um, his, I said to the guy, he brought me down the menu, and I said, "No, look, just get me what the king used to eat." Oh, right. <laughs> so these ribs, these ribs arrived down, and um, again, they were absolutely stunning. So I tried to coax the chef to give me the rub recipe. So um, I got a recipe off the chef, and uh, ever since then I've been using it on. on, on so this is the recipe. This is yeah, this is the in recipe. What's in there, Secret recipe. Okay, so what we've done is a little tip as well, a little bit of tin foil. I put all your spices into the tin foil, so you can just easily get them into your, to your jar. Okay, so chef now what tip I have, number one. What I, mm. Yeah, I have like a cocktail shaker here. It's actually a smoothie. Uh, rather yeah. than my wife, actually, it's actually a smoothie bowl. <laughs> She's probably looking for exactly. it now. So have basically, the next week. We have, oh, what's that taste? Yeah, we have brown sugar, we have sweet paprika, mm. we've got um, coriander seeds, we've got. Uh, salt in there and okay. um, we have loads of spices in there cumin as well a cayenne pepper chili pepper now tone it down you can go this way with your heat you can go this way is that okay so yeah. it all depends on personal taste can you go this that is, way you can go that way as well you can go up there up to the spirit in the sky so that's so your dry your rub yeah that then stays in your press a couple of months you get it in three or four months no problem Magic. okay so i'm going to show you what we do with that okay so what i have here is i've got a, a, a kilo and a, a, a half of a uh, whole uh, chicken okay. and we also have then like probably a kilo of your pork oh. rack ribs now again depending on the meat it, it does alter the, t the cooking times right so specific times with barbecue as you know we were not going to give that, but they're on the recipes, okay? We'll okay. see later on when we're cooking. So chicken, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the rub for the, for the pork. Now, when you buy your pork ribs, it's very important. There's a little membrane at the back, okay? That has to come off. That goes really tough when, when it's cooking, okay? So when, uh, we take that off at the very start, and then you're left with ribs here, okay? Five euro, four euro, nine euro on the block here. Well okay. Done. All right. So then we got American style <clears throat> mustard, and again, I have my gloves on. A little tip as well: put tin foil on your counter. Have your red chopping board. You don't need your red chopping board once your tin foil is there. No cross contamination. You're keeping all of the raw meats, juices, and all intact. So what I'll show you now in a second how we just clear up then. Saves you doing any washing up or any disinfecting. Okay. I have gloves on. If you have no gloves, obviously hot water. Yeah. Wash your hands with hot water. Mm -hmm. We smother each side of the ribs into our Tennessee rub. Okay, get it all over, coat it all over. That's such a clever little tip because the mustard's going to hold Exactly, that, uh, exactly, yeah. There, and then, yeah, yeah it's like a get, it, get it into all the nooks and crannies. <clears throat> okay, we're also serving this with a slaw as well. Simon's going to put together a little okay. slaw. We can talk about that in a second, all right? So yeah. while I'm doing this, maybe you can assemble the slaw. Sure. We've got a couple of secret ingredients, Anna, in this slaw, okay? We have the <clears> usual, <throat> we have red cabbage, we have white cabbage, we have carrots, red onion, we have, we have lemon juice, lemon zest, mayonnaise, and the secret two ingredients is a little bit of white wine vinegar and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Okay. okay. I promise me, if you leave those two out, if you add them two in even, it'll be fantastic. It gives you the wow factor. So that now is ready, okay? We have that then for our barbecue. So that's your rub. You can leave it refrigerated, leave it for a, for a couple of minutes, uh, 20 minutes before you actually cook that, okay? Okay. You come to the cooking part later, but that's now your rub and your prep ready, okay? I'm just going to change my gloves and we're going to handle down the raw chicken. Oh, now, so you have another set of gloves Exactly, here, yeah, because yes. I just want to be conscious of people at home that we have, um, we have raw chicken up next, OK? okay. Now, I just want to thank Heaney Meats in Galway for the raw chicken for supplying with the most amazing succulent Irish raw chicken, OK? Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is we get a little bit of spray here. We're using Wicklow rapeseed oil, okay? OK? We're going to coat the chicken inside the cavity as well. I wouldn't wash the chicken. i just pat it dry. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to get the rub and we just, we don't rub it in, we just actually just flake it, okay? And what we're going to do then is, if you have, how is the slaw coming on, Simon? Magic, I have everything in yeah, there. Yeah, okay. We're going to refrigerate the slaw 
Yeah. And we'll, that's a great come. And that also as well, if you find a little bit of heat going on, it's a great accompaniment with your barbecue to tone things down, Anna, OK? OK. Now, here's, the, here's a little bit of magic here, OK? We have... We're going to, as I was saying, to a little top tip, all right? We're going to take our tin foil. Yeah. And basically, we put our, our chopping board into the sink, OK? And then we have our tin foil, and I just wrap it up. OK? Yeah. And that goes in then, and then that's your little tip for your counter. So you don't have any issue of raw juices on your counter, OK? Now, we have um, a little roasting tray, and I have this beer can chicken stand that you can buy in any good barbecue, and you get them online with any good barbecue shops. Now, I'm using um, a Californian pale ale, and Anna, you're going to have a little taste of it there. OK, you don't need to use, you don't need to use all the beer, OK? So you have two options. You have one, you can pour some into the tray. The second option is to have a little bit of uh, beer for bank holiday weekend. Well, well, yeah. I've been very generous with my pour. Maybe I'll divide it up it's here. It's called the so. chef's privilege there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, I would recommend to use a beer that's um, light um, and has very... Uh, is light in hops, OK? OK. This beer here is a citrusy, fruity beer, and it's going to come up and add into the cavity of the chicken in the cooking process. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to just pop them... So you could use any beer that you enjoy drinking yourself, exactly, Charlotte? Exactly, exactly. Now, the thing with the hoppy beer, if the beer is really, you know, heavy in hops, it does give a little bitter aftertaste to the yeah. chicken, OK? So basically, then, we pop the, the chicken on the beer can. Remember, the beer can is open and it's half-filled. Half-filled, We've filled, put a little okay. bit onto the tray, small bit in the glass to taste. It's a fruity beer beer, so it'll add to the, to the cooking process. You know, I was going to say that, Charlie, because people might think, yeah. oh, that's only an old gimmick, but you are yeah. actually putting flavour into the chicken exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's not a gimmick. Yeah, so so this, this California beer is one of my favourite IPA beers, OK? And basically, it's um, it's it's very low on the hop element. I'm going to pass you the exactly. beer as well, and we so, both oh, have a taste that's, of So that's, that's your chicken now ready for your barbecue. That's ready to go. Have you tried it? Nope. I was waiting for Cheers. you. Cheers. We'll do it together. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers folks. Cheers, Cheers, Charlo. Welcome okay. back. Thanks very Good much. Help later, to on, you. later on, we're going to show the cooking te oh. techniques. Um, and I might add as well, Anna, yeah. if you wanted to cook <clears> these in your oven, it's perfect for your oven as well. We'll go through that later on. OK. But that's your chicken prepped, your slaw is prepped. Slaw is a, done. I have a barbecue sauce. And have I time to talk about the barbecue sauce? Yes, you have. OK. I um, we'll have a barbecue sauce here. Again, it's ketchup, it's brown sauce. I have a little bit of uh, apple. Apple cider vinegar, OK? We're just <clears> pushing the boat out here today, it's right? very so, good for you as well. Yeah, apple cider vinegar is great. And hence, then, we have the pork here. Great with barbecues, OK? So, apple cider vinegar into your uh, barbecue sauce. I've washed your sauce in. And then, as I said to you before, you can go that way with your spice and your heat. Yeah. You can go that way. Or you can go up as well, OK? <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> so, and then we have white wine vinegar. And here's the thing as well. Honey. If you taste and, and it's a little bit too sharp, this is your best mate. Man, yeah, this? honey. Yeah, yeah. So a little shot of honey in there. Get your barbecue. And what we're going to do is we're going to baste a little chip as well. I have a little wooden spoon here, mm -hmm. and I've made my little magic wand. It's a, it's herbs. So it's herbs from the herb garden. It's rosemary and thyme. We're going to dip that, and again we're going to baste oh. that near what, the end. There's of a name for that. What's Basting. The... No, the actual oh, thing the, that you've the, made. That's just a herb wand. It's a... a herb wand. Oh, just there's a it. chefy title <laughs> for is there? it, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll find out in the next segment. Yeah. Anyone Google. know? Anyone know? Yeah, Anyone let us know. Answers the postcard, please. <laughs> I love it, Charlotte. Yeah, it's so very we're going pretty. To, we're, going to, we're going to cook on the most amazing barbecue we've seen before. Yeah, the most yeah. amazing. So we're cooking with the best of gear here this okay. morning. And, the and best we're going to have the well, well factor. We're serving with some beautiful homemade barbecue sauce. We'll have the slaw sorted. We're going to cook the chicken with the flavours of the beer coming up through the chicken. Can I ask and, you, um, yeah. what happened to the sausages you cooked earlier on? I don't know, I haven't got You any. could tell us, I'd say, Simon, could you? <laughs> Anna Daly. <laughs> Anna Daly. Is the, uh, how was the barbecue? I was in here prepping. Is the barbecue OK, Simon? <laughs> it's all right. I, had a, I checked on it before I came in. Charlo yeah. and I are in here doing yeah. research, you know? Yeah, we were... We I was were, out there doing research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course we were. We were getting our stuff together, weren't we, Anna? <laughs> Thank Thanks you, yeah, Charlo. Thanks for meeting and cheers. Thanks, Charlo. Look to Pleasure to see you again. You. See you in a while. And you're very welcome back to Ireland AM. Now, never has a meal been so hotly anticipated <laughs> as the barbecue uh, all this morning. Oh, Charlotte, the chef has been with us all day, and finally, we're about to get fed. Who's hungry? I could eat something, maybe, yeah. yeah. Could that's you eat something? That's yeah, the yeah, stupidest yeah. question you've ever asked him, <laughs> ever. So, Charlotte, you've been at this for how long now? OK, so 
when we arrived, we did a little bit of prep in the kitchen. Yeah. We, we lit the green egg, okay? Um, yeah. We lit it, and I must say about this green egg, just give a little backstory about it, because it's a fantastic product. Great okay? piece of kit. We're, we're, we're lighting the green egg with 100% um, organic uh, charcoal, okay? Okay. Um, it's, it's actually flavored with hickory, so you can get it in all different flavors, which is great. So if you're a real foodie, add to your flavor, okay? Um, and we've also done, we're cooking on two types of cooking, right? We're doing um, direct and indirect, okay? So if I just show you here now, we have our, we have our ribs, and I'm just after taking oh. off the beer can chicken. I'll just show you our beer can chicken, about an hour and 30 to 40 minutes. Very good. And as you can see there, we have the juices from the chicken, okay? And we have then the flavors of the beer. The beer can, we still have a small bit of beer in it, okay? okay? I remember what we said earlier on, just to recap, that the beer was a nice, a sort of a citrusy, fruity mm. uh, pale ale. And you being you, Charlo, you've not got not hopsy. just the main course, you've got bits and pieces inside. There's bits and bobs as well. As well. And that's so important too. If we open the mini one here, Simon. Certainly, yeah. Big reveal here as well. <laughs> we, have, oh, we have our vegetarian ooh, option here, okay? So ah. we have our corn on the cobs and we have our red skewers. But let's get back to the main event here. Delicious. We, we did the lovely um, uh, Tennessee rub, and that's uh, like a universal rub. It's good for pork, lamb, and any time you're, lads, when you're, when you're cooking on the barbecue, get try that and rub cook, on there. Try and cook with your meat, you know, with the bone in. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Because it's full of flavour, isn't it, Simon? Absolutely, I mean, the 100%, is chef. Yeah, like yeah. If, you, if you get a chicken breast, go and do this today, folks. Buy a chicken fillet mm -hmm. and buy a chicken supreme that has the oh. bone in. Mm -hmm. Cook them the same with the rub on and tell me what you think. The flavour is in the one with the bone. Yeah. It's amazing. So that's what we've done today. We tried to achieve today um, a rub on the chicken, okay? And it's really suckling the moist now. So I'm just going to show you here, guys. It's like... Just got my utensils right here. Okay, so as you can see, it's just... Falling off the bone. Falling off the bone. Oh, and that is so wow. moist. Look at and that so bad boy. We made the barbecue rub. Skin. Oh, we made the, we made the, hot, the homemade barbecue sauce. Yes, you did. And I have the little um, your, wand here. Your bouquet what, garni. The bouquet garni. That's Attached what we got to the right stick. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to baste and baste the, the um, ribs. Look at that. The ribs, guys, is very important. Well, the beauty of the green egg is um, it's a little barbecue, all right? We can control the heat directly at the touch of our fingertips. Um, this uh, top, the top here is um, open and closed to, to increase so the, heat. the heat. Exactly, yeah. oh, you have a temperature here, oh. and it's all there's air vents. There's an air vent on the top and an air vent on the bottom. Mm. So you just simply adjust, let the air flow through if you want to increase your heat. Now, most of us aren't going to have those fancy <laughs> additions. So in terms of timings, and always the, the risk, and usually the outcome of any barbecue I've yeah, ever yeah. been at, is the food is incinerated. Yes, yes. exactly. Now, oh, here's, oh. Here, here, here's the best piece of the voice, OK? Seven euro. Can I mention Woody's show to Alvaro? Right it's, it's a meat tomorrow, okay? Look at that. Now, can we watch that? It's down at zero there. And it has on it all the different levels the poultry, lamb, beef. Let's just pop it into our ribs here. So, what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for over, over 75 degrees. Okay. It's going As up. As you see, it's going up, up, up going up. Come up, on, baby. Up, 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 up. You can come do on, it. Come on. So, so now we're at, we're at veal 71. We're lovely. going up then to pork 77. Yeah. Once it's over 75, guys, we are good. It's going in the good. belly. It's okay. It means also, we can have our lunch. Also, with the chicken and pork, make sure your juices run free. Okay. Run clear, now, isn't it? You yeah, won't yeah. run clear. So we put a little bit of asparagus wrapped in, in, in bacon here as well. Hasselback oh, potatoes here. Hasselback um, so, potatoes. Yeah. Hasselback potatoes. Little potatoes. sliced potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Save it, Hasselback. This little sliced potatoes. That's your own brother. <laughs> Had a potato named after him. But Jimmy it? Floyd Hasselbank. <laughs> yeah. Simon's, on a, it. Simon's on a roll. Simon's on a roll. Um, Jimmy so Floyd Hasselbank. We potato. have the, Me the Memphis, Tennessee ribs ready to go. Thank you very go. much. Ready to go. So Beautiful. I'm just going to get them on our meat block here. Oh, yeah. Take them off. And they're very, very succulent. And is it, it's, it's a hugely important, Charlo, in terms of when you're doing it, with your to baste, baste, baste. baste. Keep, give it a bit of love and attention. Particularly with the ribs. With the yeah, ribs, yeah. It's, it's all about basting and turning, okay? Yeah. If you see, if you can, if, can we get a shot inside the barbecue here? We have indirect heat and we have direct heat. Well, we don't and melt the camera see, lens. We have, we have, lens, we have a that. plate here. So basically, if, you have, if you're cooking with um, indirect heat, so I mean, it's, like it's like cooking in an oven, okay? Mm. That thing's starting to no. flame up a bit. So, guys, I'm just going, to, just going to portion our chicken here, OK? Yeah. Uh, what, what we're going to do, then, is we're going to, we're going to play it up. Remember, we made our slaw as well earlier. Yeah, loads of time, okay. Charlo. Loads of time, oh, OK? Of course, I'll just pull that plate out here yeah, so we can yeah, see it. No problem. So, you, we made a, a coleslaw. Just remind people how we made the coleslaw, Charlo. OK, with the coleslaw, remember I said there's a little secret ingredient yes. in here. We have a little bit of... Uh, we've, got the, we've got the cabbage, so we've got red cabbage, white cabbage, a bit of uh, carrot. We yeah. have then um, mayonnaise. And you can show 
show we, that to Alvar if you want to bring we, it over we, to We spiked that down with a little bit of lemon juice, lemon yeah, zest. Beautiful. White wine vinegar, Aiden and oh. Simon. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Get in that's there. That's the little Unbelievable. Okay. And that's bringing the rub is a little bit hot and spicy. Remember we said we go this way, we can go that there's way. Going to balance and here's it, your yeah. balance here. So we get the ribs on next, folks. Look at I that. Mean, look at them. Rack of ribs. <laughs> Huh? And are they just going to come away? Yes, uh, they are. Oh, they are. your question. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't look at that. Yeah. Of course, there's a little bit of mining in the ribs, so yeah. you've got to turn them, move them around your barbecue, because, you know, sometimes the barbecue, you might find that the back is a little bit hotter than the front. Mm. You'll experience that at your own barbecue at home, especially um, if it's a charcoal barbecue, OK? And, and you can then just move your meat around, but turn it, baste it, as you said, baste it with your, yeah. with your bar barbecue sauce, or you can baste it with just a little bit of moisture. So if you have... You'd always say, that, you know, when you're cooking inside in the studio, and, you know, the cooking temperatures are this and that, but everyone's oven is kind of different. Yeah. I'd imagine the same principles then with the barbecue. You just have to get used to it. Yeah, you have to get used to it. But get if, you buy, if you buy a probe, if you buy a probe and you're going to cook, yeah, yeah. you know, once you're over 75, stop the cooking process because you don't want your guests mm. to have dried out meat, you know? Yeah. You don't want to ruin your whole experience. And that's experience. a temperature yeah. recommendation, te not an age recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 75 or over. So, unlike when you might be cooking on the pan and, and you put the steak on and you leave it be, you really need to tend to this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But it's all about fun. It's all about having a, you know, if it's the right time to have a beer while you're cooking, a bit of music on. You're it's a bit of theatre, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, it's a bit of theatre. It's outdoor dining. I mean, outdoor dining, everyone is converting now their outdoor spaces mm. to, to cooking areas. Um, but if you're going, if you want, your, want the wow factor and you, you want to really yeah. impress your guests, like you've got to think big, you know? Go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. go big or go home. And there's nothing more impressive you know than that than <laughs> what you're cooking. So, so um, and that's, that's a fantastic um, that's a plate of dish. food. To, to, for everyone to experience. Now, it's a great experience for your food, you know? Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's uh, the, I mean, the, the, these barbecues, you'll see, you'll see them a lot around and all, all the, fe the festivals when they do come back. When they right? do come back, and they and will be, be back. And a big shout out to all the chefs out there and all the hotels. Exactly, and all the, the best. Yes. Welcome, Welcome back, guys. Busy Good weekend. luck. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, a friend of mine, the chef, Alan O'Donnell, as well. A big shout out to him. He's, he's looking forward to getting back into work Happy as well. Days. Good luck okay. to him and everyone yeah. else. Thanks, Thanks folks. Great to see you back. Okay, Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, brother. We're looking forward to getting stuck into this.